page 128, chord steady in two, meaning you feel it two beats to a measure because it's in 6-8 time. There's six beats in a measure, but we're going to feel it in two. <sighs> okay, it, it all makes sense eventually. You have some wine or something. I'm going to take both hands together here because it kind of goes together here. And all we're doing are the primary chords. This is in the key of G major. It's got one sharp. If you know your primary chords in G major, it's the one chord, the four chord, the five seven chord. You got this. Piece of cake. So it's the counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, so forth. And then on measure five, it changes rhythm. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. And then on measure nine, the rhythm changes again. One, two, three, four. Okay. We want to feel it in two. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Practice at playing at these different rhythms. Okay. Articulation. Connect them. Just connect them all, everything. Now, when you get down to measure nine, they want staccatos. Light wrist staccato. Don't come way up on this. You just this little motion. Connect this and this, but then that's staccato. Plus, they want you to accent the first note of every measure. So we hear that one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. They're forcing. It should be a natural accent, but they're forcing as well. So the tendency for me is I want to play it when I, I want to play it staccato. And they want you to slur the first two notes. That's a struggle for me to get that right. Dynamic wise, well, sort of loud in this both hands. Whatever you think sort of loud is, there's no real melody, it's just the chords. And when you get down to measure nine, they want a, a little louder to loud. That makes the accented notes a very loud note for one note. Make sure you collapse the wrist on this too. And then you have a retardando in the last measure. I would recommend that you retardando after you repeat it. See the repeat sign, you play it twice. So do the retardando at the very end. So the first time you're doing this, and you repeat, just keep the same speed going, and you can retardando later. Mm -hmm. Now they've added pedal. We don't need pedal on this, but it's good practice to change the pedal. I mean, it's, it's overlapping pedal. You're changing it with a harmony at each measure here. You're not changing it because it's a measure. You're changing it because the harmony is changing and it just happens to be changing at the measure line. That's all. And then when you get to measure nine, you don't pedal that because we want to hear the staccatos. That would get in the way of that. So the notes go down first and then the pedal. Here. And I change the pedal after I play the notes. And so it overlaps. nine, I lift the pedal up right after I play the first note and I leave it up. So it may starting measure eight. And I don't pedal any of the rest of it. Speed wise, you want to feel it in two. So and it has to be accurate and controlled. So how fast your two goes is up to you. One, two, one, two, one, two. Again, you find the hardest part of the piece. How fast can you play that accurately? And that tells you how fast you can take it. So on these eighth notes at the measure nine, how fast can you do those accurately, evenly, controlled? That's how fast you take it. That's your two. One, two, one, two, one, two. That's the feel. One, two. The counting is still one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So don't start thinking triplets. That's a different feel. Don't get confused here. It may sound like triplets. It's not. It's six, eight time. At the bottom of the page, there's a note where you can transpose this to other keys. 
Well, it's easy to do as long as you're reading the, the note numbers, one chord, four chord, because the numbers are the same in any key. As long as you know your primary chord, you can play it in any key. So this is in G major. We got the one chord, the four chord, the five, seven chord. Well, in the key of F here, the one chord, the four chord, five, seven chord. You can play this in F. Just read the note, the Roman numerals. Rather than the notes, read the Roman numerals. You're only reading the notes to give you the rhythm. And so forth. Or in the key of C major, again, one chord, four chord, five, seven. Just read the Roman numerals. And so forth. Look how you transpose these sons if you want. Yeah, could be fun, good exercise. Try transposing it into D minor. We've had D minor. Again, the one chord, the four chord. D minor has a flat, remember. Five, seven, go ahead and you'll see. So it's a good review of the primary chords. I like to play this with you very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms and all that. I'm not going to do any dynamics. I put the metronome on dotted quarter notes. That's what we're feeling. So there's three beats for each one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Let's see if we can play it that fast. One, two, three, go.